tucked away in Sandstone, Minnesota. The residents that get the most attention at the Wildcat Sanctuary aren't necessarily the loudest ones. Have breakfast. The newest addition to the family. Do one first. Cougar Kitten Anastasia, mm -hmm. who's a little unsure. Go ahead. Of, well, everything. It's okay, pretty girl. She had a really rough start at life. Anastasia arrived at 22 pounds. She had bite wounds all over her body. Her tail was degloved from an animal biting it, and she had that horrible abrasion on her face. You do tend to like chicken a little more. Taken in from Oregon, Anastasia isn't even a year old yet. Stacia. But executive director Tammy Thee says it's been tough for the big cat since the very beginning. Good girl. She is a cougar that somebody purchased as a pet and unfortunately was unsocialized, so they thought letting her out in the wild would be the best outcome for her. Captive-born animals cannot survive in the wild. She was just little, and a good Samaritan started spotting her. There you go. Luckily, the Wildcat Sanctuary had room and heart to take care of the cougar. She's come a long way, Good girl. but still has a lot of emotional healing to do. She doesn't see anything good right now. She really only trusts herself, and so we need to open up that world to her a little bit that she can trust more of nothing negative will happen to her. Eventually, Cougars! she will get to be Hi. here. All right, gotta be quick, okay? Both physically and hopefully mentally too. There you go. Where she will roam the sanctuary with confidence. Good boy. Our goal with Anastasia is that we get to introduce her to another rescued cougar. Hi, Noma. Good. And that she can have companionship here at the sanctuary. Langley. Sadly, when cats come to us, they'll never be wild again, but we try to allow them to be wild at heart. Go ahead. She's going to move into a free roaming habitat with enrichment, caves to hide in, a heated building. Tisha. She's going to start to be able to make choices, especially meaningful because it was never her choice to be purchased as a pet and then left out to fend for herself. So let me just get the juice. <laughs> Thee says through their work, the sanctuary is constantly reminding the public. The captive wildlife crisis is what we call it of people keeping exotic animals pets is twofold. One is you have the breeders and the dealers and they're out to make money. They're out to sensationalize themselves and these animals. And then you have these animal lovers that think if they have a unique bond with the wild animal that that makes them them more special. It makes them something very deep and interesting. And the reality of owning a wild animal is much more glamorous than the reality. It is not fair to the animal and it usually never works out for the human who has purchased the wild animal. Poor Anastasia. Just so you know, the Wildcat Sanctuary is not open to the public. So sorry, but you can't go visit any of those big cats. But here's the future plan for Anastasia. She'll live for the rest of her days at the sanctuary and she will enjoy that buffet lunch that looked pretty intense all she wants. Wish the best for her and everybody at the sanctuary and thank you for joining the show tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow, 6.30. Take care.